ipinaalam ng China sa buong lugar ng kaso ang Japan ay gumagawa ng kasalukuyan at lalabas ng COVID-19 infections in the Philippines have reached 1,149,925 cases as of May 17. The pandemic is unfolding simultaneously with a growing number of Filipinos suffering from mental health issues. Depression, anxiety, and other mental health-related illness are on the rise among millennials as they face the pressure to be functional amidst pandemic fatigue. In today's pandemic, who is at higher risk of having mental health problems? According to some experts, most likely to have mental health problems today are those children and teens. Children are away from their school, friends and colleagues. Staying at home can have many questions about the outbreak and they look toward their parents to have the answers to those questions. Elders and people with disabilities is also a risk. Elderly people are more prone to the COVID-19 outbreak due to both clinical and social reasons and having a quicker immune system. Our health workers are also at risk. Doctors, nurses, and paramedics working as a frontline force to fight the COVID-19 outbreak may be more susceptible to develop mental health symptoms. Although it's normal to feel anxious, stress during COVID-19 outbreak, we still have a role to play in protecting the physical, mental, and well-being of ourselves. Aside from knowing the facts about COVID-19, let us also help to support positive mental well-being. I hope you guys join me this afternoon to fight against stress and mental health. Andiyan na pala kayo. So, hello mga kastresis. I know you are stressed lately dahil katatapos nga lang ng final. Sana po masatahin lahat. So, bukod doon, sa finals na yan, nagtulot ang stress sa atin lately or this week. Um, kabila na meron pa rin tayong pinagdadaan ng pandemic. But we are always inside our homes to ensure our safety. Pero don't worry guys, I'll help you fight and deal with the pressures that you face. I'm your friend, your stress reliever. We're always here to provide happiness, knowledge, and advice to help you fight mental health problems. We know that at this time, all the efforts have been focused on Understanding the epidemic, clinical features, transmission patterns, and outbreak management of COVID-19. But very little concern has been expressed on the effects on a person's mental health and strategies to prevent stigmatizations. The pandemic is not just medical phenomenon. It also affects individuals, society, and causes disruptions. And that's why in this vlog, we will explore the science of stress. Let's go! Hello, my name is Anne, and I support Positive Mental Well-Being That's why I am here to provide you some knowledge about health, stress, and different coping styles. What is stress? Stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It comes from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, and nervous. Stress generally refers to two things, psychological perception of pressure and the body's response to it, which involves multiple systems from metabolism to muscle memory. 
some stress is necessary for all living system. It is by the means by which they encounter and respond to the challenges and uncertainties of existence. Stress. Stress is something everyone experiences. Despite being unpleasant, stress itself is not an illness, but there are connections between stress and mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, psychosis, and post-traumatic disorder or PTSD. Research into stress, its causes, effects on body, and its link to mental health is vital. What did the ancient ancestors do when they faced stress, pressure, or danger environment? Do they fight or flee? Hmm. Hey, did you know that your question is something to do with the so-called fight or flight? What? Excuse me, what is fight or flight? Does it have anything to do with travel? No sir, fight and flight is... Goodbye, I forgot that I have a flight. I might miss the plane. Guys, is it stressful? Don't worry guys, because there are many ways to get rid of this stress as well as yours. First is try to identify the cause of stress and tackle it. Avoiding the problem may take it worst. Often, it's not possible to change your situation and prevent stress, but there are many ways to help control it, and stress management may be effective in improving your health. It's also important that you have an idea about the biology of stress. It is about the HPA axis. During times of stress, the hypothalamus, a collection of nuclei that connects the brain and the endocrine system, signals the pituitary gland to produce a hormone, which in turn signals the adrenal glands located above the kidney to increase the production of cortisol. Did you know that stress is caused by an existing stress-causing factor called stressor? Yes, it has two categories. First one is chronic stressors, and the next one is acute stressors. There are different types of stressors. Hassle, traumatic events, life changes, and other stressors. Coping styles. Two fundamental kinds of coping, problem-focused coping and emotion-focused coping. Before you end this video lecture, always remember that the more we understand stress, the better we can tackle it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have gained a lot of knowledge about stress. So yon, after nyo na pala yung presentation, isa sum up ko naman sa inyo kung ano nga ba yung stress at kung saan siya nanggaling. Para mas lalo nyo pang maunawaan. So, yung stress nga daw is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It came from fr any event or thought that make you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. So, eto daw yung ano, stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand. Kasi ang stress ay nagmumula sa stress. Or yung stressor is, na, ano, nasa paligid lang natin siya. Yung pinagmumula ng stress natin. Kung ba't pa tayo na stress So, aside from that, um, short-term memory also becomes more effective daw when we are experiencing stress. So, kapag stress daw tayo, yung memory natin is mas nagiging effective, yung shorter memory natin, specifically. So, this stress response has evolved to keep us also safe when it comes to um danger. Yun, kapag nasa danger tayo or nasa sitwasyon tayo na parang mahira. So, yun, mas nagiging ano tayo, mas nagiging um, effective tayo mag-isip, parang, kunwari, paano ko ito kaharapin, paano... Anong gagawin ko? Ni mga ganun. Parang mas mabilis tayo nakakapag-isip ng response dun sa stressors na yun or dun sa event na yun. So, so pag-usapan naman natin yung biology of mental health and stress. Yung chronic stress, it increases the risk of developing depression and anxiety in some people daw. So, the precise mechanism of how stress is linked to mental ill health are being uncovered. So, pag-usapan natin ngayon yung stressor. Yung stress is caused by an existing stress-causing factor or tinatawag na stressor. Ito do yung pinaggagalingan ng stress natin, yung pinaka-factor. So, anxiety is stress that continues after the stressor is gone. Yung anxiety daw is a type of stress na nawawala din daw after, no, after mawala ng stressor. So, ano ba yung mga stressor? So, stressor is for an individual experience stress 
Though you might experience nothing stress, he must first encounter a potential stressor. To um, meron daw two broad categories on stressor: the chronic stressors and the acute stressor. When it comes to chronic stressors, ito yung mga pangmatagal, yung mga matagal na stress. No, it includes um events versus over an extended period of time. So extended period of time, matagal nga siya, such as caring for a parent with dem- dementia, um long term long term unemployment, yung matagal ka nang walang trabaho, naka, sobrang matagal ng stress yun, di ba? Uh, yung pagkakakulong imprisonment, isa pa yan. So, pag sinabi naman nating um, acute stress, or ito naman yung mga, um, yung mga nangyayari briefly, or pamadalian lang, kagaya nung napasok ka, yung mga ganong pagkakataon. It involves, um, it involves a brief focal events that sometimes continue to be experienced, or overwhelming Well, after the event has ended, such as falling on icy sidewalk and breaking your legs. Yung mga ganun. So, grabe naman pala yun. Yung acute din. Ano? Pero pang mabilis na lang yung acute. Kung baga bigla ka nagalit, may arguments kayo ng kapatid mo, yung bigla, ang ganun. Yung mga ganun. Pang madalian lang ang stressors. So, we have here the um, iba't iba ang stressors. Like, um, the traumatic events yon some stressors involve traumatic events or a situation in which a person is exposed to actual or threatened death or a serious injury ito yung mga um ang example nito yung military combat yung threatened or actual physical assaults yung mga physical attacks yung mga sexual assaults robbery or childhood experiences of abuse so terrorist attacks sama din natural disaster earthquakes flood hurricanes etc even tung ano, nararanasan natin ngayon, traumatic events na to para sa atin, kasi lagi tayong nasa bahay, parang ganun. Kasama na siya sa stressor natin, which is classified as traumatic events. Next one naman is yung life changes. Itong pandemic is best example of life changes. So many potential stressors we face involve events or situations that requires us to make changes in our ongoing lives or the way we live and defy, uh, require time as we adjust to those changes. Yun, kailangan natin ng ad- matagal ang pag adjust dito, no? Kasi itong pandemic is tumatagal na ng mahigit isang taon. Mahigit isang taon na ba? Or isang taon na talaga siya. So, ang example nito is death of a close family. Yung mga namatayan dahil nga sa COVID. Yung mga nagkasakit at, malang, at mga nag-positive. So, yung mga divorce, kasama din dito. Marriage. Yan. So, hassles. Ito, marami tayong hassles, di ba? Nararanas. And so, the minor irritations and annoyance, it is a part of everyday lives. Yun, everyday lives talaga nararanasan natin. Nararanasan natin to yung pagka-rush sa mga due dates, no? Tapos, yung pagkawala ng ating, ano, minsan, nawawala yung cellphone mo, saan mo naibaba, yung mga ganun, yung mga hassle. Tsaka, yung mga nalilimutan mo, pag-aalis ka, naiwanan mo palagi. Tapos, yung mga, kumara, nagkaroon ng, Um, ulan, umula nung lumabas ka ng bahay, mga ganun, arguments with friends, part din yun. Tsaka yung mga traffic, part din siya ng hassle. So, other stressors naman can include, uh, include exposed, challenging, and unpleasant um, events such as difficult uh, difficulties like demanding or unsafe working conditions. Kasama dun yung mga, nuwari, sa trabaho niyo, yung workplace niyo is hindi safe. Yun yung other type of stressors mo kung ikaw ay nagtatrabaho. So, meron ding tinatawag na um, mga merong discretion in decision making or job control. So, job burnout in general is a sense of emotional exhaustion and cynicisms in relations to one's job. Na, mga nakakaranas dyan ng mga job strain and job burnout. Kahini yan, mga ses. So, alam kong napakadami natin stressors na wadis, lalo na nung nagkaroon ng pandemic. Hindi lang dahil sa hindi tayo makalabas, hindi lang dahil madaming nagpago, hindi dahil sa ating mismo, parang alam niyo yun, sa sarili niyo mismo, parang hindi, may kulang. Hindi. So, yun, I hope you will join me to support Positive Mental Wellbeing, and don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the notification bell to always be updated my upcoming videos. So, maraming salamat po sa mga nanood ng video nis- videos na ito na wapo yung makatulong ito sa inyo para makapag-cope up kayo ng mga stress nyo at malaman nyo na rin kung ano po ba ang pinagmumula ng stress. So, yon Maraming salamat po.